Welcome to episode number 83 of the Exploring Antinatalism podcast, a podcast showcasing the wide range of perspectives and ideas throughout antinatalism as it exists today, through interviews with antinatalists and non-antinatalist thinkers and creators of all kinds, now running five years strong. I'm your host, Amanda Suknik, and today I'm speaking with Juan Ignacio Iturraspe Staps and Yo soy Adrián Gámez and Luis Merida, who together with others comprise the journal, Spanish language translation effort, and lecture series known as Revista Enadas. Revista Enadas. Hello to each of you <laughs> and welcome to the Exploring Antinatalism podcast. It's an honor to have the two of you uh, with me today. There is a third who will be joining us uh, soon and the fourth member, as I understand, uh, couldn't make it today. Perhaps another time. Uh, I was looking forward to meeting everybody, but uh, well, I'm, I'm so happy to have the two and soon to be three uh, with me today. So allow me to start out today's interview by simply saying that while I have indeed been following all of your activities, um, and particularly the lecture series, uh, because uh, but because of the language barrier, most of the lecture series is in uh, Spanish. Portuguese, I, I, Spanish, 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 yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, so again, I watch the videos. I do, and I'm always, you know, I'm always looking at the the, the notifications on Twitter. Um, but there's so much I I don't know about what you guys are doing, and I've just been fascinated. Um, and so I wanted to have you guys on the show so that I could, you know, actually learn every all the secrets behind <laughs> uh, what you guys have been up to. So to start us off, I would love to hear uh, a little bit more about each of you. So if I may, um, if you guys could just take turns telling me a little bit about yourselves. And while you're Thank at you. it, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love to hear from each of you um, why you are or not an antinatalist. All right. Well, thank you for having us. Uh, it's a pleasure to meeting up with you finally. And um, starting with your question, um, you want to start presenting yourself? Oh, no. No, I'll do my. Go, go. So, um, go. Well, my name is Juan Ignacio Torraspe. Uh, I'm a member of this uh, group. We, we are not only four of us, there's more people behind. Uh, we do a magazine, magazine that is um, uh, published every uh, I think, Annual. annually. Yeah, we have a annually uh, um, a book that we uh, ensemble a lot of articles and tra trans uh, translations and um uh, and also we do these seminars that you saw recently uh we do lectures about uh, firstly we we made uh lectures about the um uh, the will and the representation uh, no the, sorry, the, the world, world as will as uh, will representation. representation yeah okay. from arthur schopenhauer we went through the first huge volume the first uh publish it and then the other one was uh, uh the the compliments the compliments the of the of the 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 first um first book and um and right now we are um uh we are dealing with uh contemporary philosophers uh who are um uh taking topics or talking top uh, about the uh antinatalism uh, about um uh, pessimism in pessimism in general uh, kind of an introductory to the to the matter and uh also um what else um we are, we are doing well some of our uh some of our uh, members of the of the team are doing um some translations uh, okay. on um different uh different 20 no 20 no 19 uh century uh, philosophers german uh, mostly um 
here is, is one of them. Um, uh, it's uh, a translation of uh, Edward von Harman, but uh, in the same series. Uh, Olga Plumacher, Olga you have. Olga Plumacher, uh, uh, Bansen, Bansen, Julius Bansen, Bansen. Mainlander. Yeah. Uh, all uh, the the main all the main actors no uh, in in that uh, tradition in, mm -hmm. in the beginning of that tradition yeah so um so yeah that's mostly our well, we meet up here we 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 uh, is a, a lecture club we invite people here to to talk about and discuss uh, different topics we we uh, we try to expose here right and then um we just record it and upload it and see how people react we have huge comments in youtube uh people who uh they love us they hate us they don't understand <laughs> us what, what what in the editing stuff or what uh, uh interpretations uh, choice we do and we we um yeah we do all this um around here and yeah for me i'm Juan to so i'm 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 here right now i'm at the we are in the university of barcelona right now i'm a teacher and also a researcher here um and i'm i'm in focus my main focus right now is uh dealing with the metamodernism and um <laughs> which has nothing to do with it has nothing with pessimism. Has, nothing has to do uh with the uh, with pessimism but um but I'm happy we find uh, uh we find each other here uh we have a, a place to to discuss uh this this trains of thought and um and these these kind of topics right about uh pessimism and, and radical thinking and uh, critical thought and, uh, and that's that kind of stuff but uh, yeah i don't know well, but what well, maybe we can later discuss uh my or our positions in that uh, uh well you, you can you can answer uh, for for yourself uh, <laughs> yeah i would love what, to hear about is your that. opinion yeah, in... yeah. yeah. On the topic of uh, antinatalism. Antinatalism. You can give your take. Well, the fact is that I don't have a take on antinatalism because it's a, I think it's um um, it's something that uh is related to something more like um an affective way of uh of feeling that 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 kind of stuff. I have more that that interpretation about antinatalism. You you can be antinatalism or 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 pro natalism but um but i think it comes from the guts not from from thoughts i think it's more like a feeling like you or you urge to to go to that one or the other direction i think and reasons are merely a way to uh express that inner feeling you have i think that inner experience you have uh about that um that kind of uh, um, uh, scenery or um, that kind of, I don't know, imaginary <laughs> uh, future or way you see yourself uh, taking care of or uh, having to, um, I don't know, uh, all that uh, theme about pregnancy and, and taking care of children and stuff like that. Or you don't want to know anything about it, or you just worried about something else that doesn't need to be um, related to that kind of stuff, especially. So yeah, I think it's more like, uh, as I said, I, uh, an, an inner experience, more like that. Uh, I, I, that's uh, that's my take. I, I I'm um, I I didn't um, went that deep as maybe uh, Luis. <laughs> But uh, or or at the end, but um, uh, but yeah, that's that's my take. And now I give the word to my friend <laughs> here. <laughs> well, uh, I'm I'm Luis Merida. Um, I'm kind of an independent researcher uh, on metaphysics, uh, epistemology, philosophy of technology. Uh, recently, uh, I published uh, my book on uh, Gilbert Simondon, 
which uh, <laughs> that's, it, it's not uh, nothing related with uh, pessimism or uh, antinatalism. Uh, and as for me, it's kind of my uh, one of my side projects, more of a passion project, uh, uh, so to speak. Uh, my my first uh, philosophical love um, was uh, Schopenhauer, so I, I think yeah, that sums it uh, pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh well uh i don't think i i i guess i speak uh, for everyone in in the group uh but uh i don't think um all of us have a a, a strong stance on the topic of uh antinatalism uh for uh for uh, leaning for uh, one side or the other uh, but uh, I myself, speaking for myself, uh, I'm I'm sure that I don't want to have uh, kids. Uh, life, life, life. It's not that good. Uh, and uh, luckily, uh, my my fiance uh, thinks alike. So, <laughs> parent in heaven. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Um, done deal. Well, <laughs> uh, but we can we can translate you. Uh, ah, bueno. This is Adrián. This is Adrián. Welcome. Yo, bueno, me dedico, yo principalmente me dedico al pesimismo, plan, el pesimismo alemán del siglo XIX. Mi tesis trata principalmente de Schopenhauer, Mailander, Harman y Bansen. Bueno, sí, para <laughs> Um, he's working on um, his uh, PhD thesis right now about uh, Bunsen and Schopenhauer and all those uh, philosophers we talked about. Um, and uh, right now he's a PhD researcher right now. Um, y respecto al antinatalismo, pues no tengo una postura muy específica, ¿no? No es una cuestión, como en los autores que yo trato, no es una cuestión que se aborde de una forma muy específica ni muy desarrollada. Okay, vale. Me interesa. Vale. <laughs> uh, he's, he's saying that um, he doesn't have any... Um... As 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 Luis and I said, it's not a, a, a um, specific stance uh, on the on the antinatalism um, um, topic, but uh, he's he's talking about the authors he's dealing with, and um, they don't seem to have neither a a position like really fundamented position on on that topic as well, but. Sí, pero en todo caso me, me interesaría más analizar su parte más activa o más militante, que es un poco lo que me genera más inquietud del tema. But, y and but he is really interested on the militant uh, activity about antinatalism and uh... ah, sí. y también cómo se inscribiría dentro de los autores que yo trabajo, especialmente en Mailander y en Harman. En toda la cuestión de su teleología de la aniquilación y cómo podría interpretarse desde la perspectiva. Ok, si está hablando de Harman and, and Mylander, about the, uh, ¿cómo se llama? La aniquilación. La, la teleología de la aniquilación. Uh, theology, theology of uh, annihilation, right? I think. Annihilation. Annihilation. Annihilation, yeah. Uh, that's where maybe antinatalism can be. Uh, can be um, explored. explored, yeah, about these two authors and that that, that topic, um, theology. 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 theology, theology of uh, animation, yeah. And and by can you ask him like by militant or an, an annihilation? Do you mean sort of like antinatalism as it intersects with extinction and maybe sort of like oh. bring you know. Vale. Sort of actualizing antinatalism mm -hmm. in that sense. 
¿Tiene que ver con la extinción de la, de la raza humana o está más vinculado a otro tipo de...? En el caso de los autores que yo... Sí, de la teleología de la... Sí, de... en los autores, a ver, claro, la cuestión del antinatalismo desde esa perspectiva es bastante contemporánea, ¿no? Uh -huh. En todo caso, lo que hay es una especie de prescripción de la virginidad, de la no procreación, sobre todo en Mylander, y en ese sentido... Vale. Perdón, no, no, está bien, está bien. Es que nunca lo he hecho. Ya, ya, yo Me cuesta recordar lo que entonces digo, pero ¿qué está diciendo? Bueno, uh, he's saying that uh, he's a quite a contemporary stuff. Uh, he's talking about uh, topics about virginity, uh, trying to uh, conservative uh, uh, motus, right? And um, uh, yeah. Sí, creo que... No, no sé. sí, 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 claro. Y nada, cuando yo me refiero a la cuestión más militante, eh, lo que me refiero es más cómo se pretende que el antinatalismo cale como mensaje en una sociedad... Kind of uh, the political side, uh, the political side of antinatalism. antinatalism. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fascinating. Well, I actually I think we have a lot to talk about in that in in, in all of those regards. Um, maybe maybe not. Maybe we won't get too ter terribly into that today. Um, but I'm yeah. very interested in your in your research because that's those are all aspects that I'm also highly interested in. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> I tell him that Thanks. you liked it. <laughs> the, the the universal uh, uh yeah. language is thumbs up for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me just say this. Um, first of all, thank you so much to all three of you for all of those details. I mean, I want to say that um, you know, no matter where your stance is on antinatalism, if it's if it's you know, there's a sort of um just sort of generalized sense of activism that I get from everything that you're doing. Like, like, and I don't mean just in terms of antinatalism at all, I mean, just in terms of philosophy. Like I get the sense that through all of your efforts, you're making so much philosophy available to a Spanish speaking audience that it doesn't seem had access maybe to it. Like, you know, just in terms of the journal and the lecture series and the translations that you guys are, are are doing, which I was very curious about. That was one, I'm glad that you already brought that up. But I, I'd, I, I'd love to, if you guys could give me sort of a sense of what it was, like what the landscape of, of access to works on pessimism were in Spanish before you guys came along. And maybe maybe works of philosophy in general, I don't know. But it seems like you're just, you guys are working tirelessly, really, to like make these works <laughs> yeah. available to an audience yeah. that clearly is hungry for it. Because I mean, look, your videos aren't getting millions of views, but you have an audience, like a real audience that like clearly loves what you're putting out. Yeah. Like you, you've clearly zeroed in on an appetite that that exists in Spanish for pessimistic works, for works on philosophy, and and that's just so awesome. Like I just love that's a piece of what you guys are doing. So yeah, I'd, I'd love it if you could speak a little bit about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I think we uh, what we we're trying to do here is um, not only trying to unravel or to. Uh, unveil the uh, the concepts or just um, trying to expose what Schopenhauer said or maybe uh, Cabrera said or uh, the other one that we um, Benatar, Benatar, yeah. Benatar or Ligotti said but um, is the I think is the the how we shuffle from different uh, disciplines we uh, Sometimes we we went to we we go sorry to um to psychoanalysis or maybe we go to uh, different branches of philosophy or we connect different uh philosophers from the um uh, from the branch of uh, pessimism and um and we do the, those those bridges I think the I think the um because it's, it's more it's more um uh more um open we, we try to open field right to to make different new new connections 
and um and trying to um to to get to uh new ideas with those old uh old and already uh visited um uh, authors right and i think that there's a potency there's a potential uh lectures uh we we try to uh extract from every lecture we 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 um we we go right um but um um yeah uh, I, I think i think that's 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 the the the, the point of, of these lectures also we, we 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 love to meet up here and um talk and discuss the readings we do and uh and then after go for a beer and talk what we said and say oh man you said that it was the other thing but um uh it is uh there there's a joy on on sharing on uh, on working together on researching together and um um and seeing that um that there's there's uh, quite a lot of uh things that can be uh read uh between lines that has been uh passed uh through the motus of uh just a regular reading, you know, uh, of Schopenhauer again, or Venatar again, or Cabrera again. Um, so we, or Ligotti as well. So um, I don't know for 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 an, for an example. Last uh, the last video we we uploaded, it was about me uh, talking about Ligotti, right? And after after uh, the, the sorry during the the reading of the. The, the exposition I, I prepared for that for that session, I made connections with uh, uh, psychoanalysis on some point uh, with uh, culture as well, uh, cultural products uh, like, for example, movies, video games, or yeah, well, um, uh, the bridges. The, yeah, uh, the last time we uh, well, uh, I, I presented Ligotti and I made bridges. Uh, with uh, cultural objects or other philosophers or other disciplines uh, like psychoanalysis or or um, uh, psychology or stuff like that, right? Because Ligotti is always dealing with the conscious and the and the ego and uh, all that all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's it's um it's trying to I don't know but uh, how to how to translate this uh this uh, this noun but. It's kind of um olgura, like we uh, flexibility. Yeah, we we flexibilize the 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 lectures we do so we can establish bridges. That's that's the main idea we 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 do here, and and trying to also spread um the word of pessimism works because there's not enough <laughs> pessimists mm. pessimism uh, exactly. in, in 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 philosophy and um and, uh, and neither here in in spain there's there's uh and and yeah, there's a there's a lot of works uh, to be translated uh, uh today uh, we have uh we have uh all schopenhauer translated uh this year we uh we have mainlander we have mainlander yeah but this year this year <laughs> but this year yeah uh and the other uh Arman has also uh the other it was last year i think it was published the unconscious from the philosophy of, uh, the philosophy of unconscious yeah from um and Arman. All this work is uh, re relatively uh, recent. Uh, two or three, five uh, at most uh, years ago, uh, they uh, well mainly uh, coinciding or um, in parallel with the with the birth of the of, yeah. of our journal. Yeah. Um, um, it's like a a a, a cosmic uh, <laughs> movement that all the pessimists come from the ground outside and we bloom everywhere. So yeah, yeah, it's it's a pretty 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 good time for for having that pessimist back and also. Oh, well, well, uh, we are connected with uh, m most of the translations uh, they are currently uh, releasing. Um, 
Manuel, Manuel Pérez Cornejo. Ah, with the translators. We have a, a, um, a relationship with them. Uh, we, we've been sharing. Oh, they, they also... Um, the uh, see, translator. Are, part, are part of this series of uh, translations as well. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, we have... We, there's pretty much people not not too many but we know each other so we can <laughs> we can do things together and we can we can um research together and take things out and stuff like that yeah also in academia uh, these topics are very absent uh quite uh, they are um quite marginal uh, in fact uh, I uh, seriously doubt that uh, um, most of the professors uh, in in this uh, department uh, <laughs> know uh, know um, that we are making this. I'm pretty yeah. sure that uh, <laughs> any any no any no. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, no one here uh, knows what we are doing uh, every every two Fridays. <laughs> well, dices que saben, pero que no quieren participar. En... No, digo que que dudo que, ah, no, que dudo que lo sepan. Ah, okay, okay, mm. okay. I, yeah. it, it's, what you guys are doing <laughs> is just absolutely extraordinary. I mean, I, I I I really do sincerely wish that like every country every language had like a division of what you guys are doing like basically making <laughs> these best oh, works available because like correct so correct me if i'm misunderstanding before you guys came along there was yeah. no spanish translation of hartman there was no spanish translation of what a lot of schopenhauer from what it sounds like and maybe mm. mainlander and then can not, you give me a sense of how long how how long have you know, tr Spanish translations of Benatar and Ligotti existed? Like, were those previously around mm -hmm. before you guys started doing these translations? And then can you also tell me, like, does does your university produce these these Spanish translations and, and the, like, and the publications? No. <laughs> or how does all that work? Um, well, uh, <laughs> the... Um, the translations of this series is is um it's kind of a love project. Uh, this one's right here. The, uh, these ones. Uh, the others are uh, in commercial commercial edit uh, uh, publishers. Publishers. Commercial publishers. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's not um state funded. Are uh. If the commercial publisher is not um, in, interested, interested in the yeah. or thinks uh, it will not make any money, yeah, he's not gonna gamble about it. Yeah. Mm. He's not gonna take any chance. He's just... uh, that's that's what makes uh, really difficult uh, to mm, to um, spread. See, the, mm, yeah, to, to spread the. Uh, yeah. Or to work in 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 these translations, yeah. Um, and I don't know. Schopenhauer um, has been translated uh, from a long time. Uh, is is the one uh, I think because uh, of his importance um, for history beyond be, beyond the mm -hmm. the topics of uh, pessimism. Uh, that uh, that's uh, yeah that's the thing with uh, with him. But the others that uh, which are more um, specific uh, of the of the topic uh, are more difficult to um, to allocate uh, for an for an, a commercial uh, publisher. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no much public who's gonna buy that that kind of stuff because, well, the, the publishers think the publishers think the uh, they're not gonna sell. They're not gonna sell. 
but but with the growing success of your lecture series and like the growing YouTube community, <laughs> maybe I know maybe you're yeah. inching towards showing more publishers that there is an appetite for this work. So I'll I'll be keeping my fingers crossed on. Yeah, <laughs> sorry if I interrupted you guys, but I just wanted to. Say oh, that. it's okay. It's okay. No, but uh, but uh, yeah, but well, um, there, there, there's no hope. I think there's just <laughs> I, I think there there's just we are pessimists uh, after all. So <laughs> yeah, we're pessimists after all. Yeah, I think there's a there's a um there's not, not hope but joy on the making i think uh that's that's the main main focus right uh, trying to uh enjoy what, what we're doing and if it um if it goes that way right uh, we can spread or make bridges and um uh, maybe some publishers are interested on translated for example benatar or mm. more other works from cabrera or mm. i don't know something so, someone else someone else's work uh to spanish language well that would be would be amazing because mm. uh yeah we're trying to say look there's uh, uh um there's the uh, there's, niche. there's a niche there's yeah. a niche yeah there's a niche but um also there's uh a fractal <laughs> hermeneutics for example that it's being uh uh, um, um, displaced or refused because there is a significance of the word pessimist because the word pessimist produces immediately a series of uh, mm, uh, uh, yeah reflect well um, distance they they want to keep it at distance because there's a uh, there's 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 nothing good in it they're gonna tell me what I already know what I already feel. About it but the the pessimist view i think is uh is a way to uh uh you know the the, the really bad things that happen in life and about being born without even ask me if i want to be born right with us as um um uh, the french philosopher said mm. so uh, well, yeah, ah, yeah. and uh, um that's, that's the thing what i was thinking about and um uh and all that kind of stuff but i think pessimistic uh thought is is uh, um is more more humble than um than aggressive or something like that it's just trying to put words at something that resists uh the hearing of it that mm -hmm. is or is a, a a gut feeling that that inner experience that we talked earlier um i think the pessimistic uh, um, um um point of view or or, or philosophy or trying to grasp that uh that thing and trying to um to put words to it and even systematize it or some, something like that yeah and trying to find a a a common ground uh, about uh, human nature or hu humanity, what it means, uh, uh, making sense about this all nonsense, right? And and a sense that is closer to us instead of trying to, I don't know, making huge interpretations about what it means to be a a human for post-humanist or transhumanist or i don't know though any any of those schools like stoics or whatever whatever they ontologize they um uh the human existence or stuff like that the, the pessimist has a I think a more humble approximation about uh about the about the human and uh not only the human but not not all anthropocentric but uh, as you as you know, maybe in in in, in shopping hour, there is a connection with animals and nature that is totally um, totally uh, forgotten, right? Because there's too much uh, anthropocene, I think, uh, to in the in the in the philosophical elaborations, I think. So that's that's why why um, I'm thinking. You know? I, I don't know the reason why we're making this. I, I already told you that this is for joy and. To get around people and to uh, enjoy what we're doing, but uh, maybe that's that's one of the reasons, or for some reasons we have to 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 do this um, and these lectures, 
and uh, publishing the magazine and and calling for for people to to give us translations or I don't know contact people who are I don't know on the other side of, of Spain and they're working on some philosopher that we don't even know about him and uh, there is a place that is gonna be um, uh, read and gonna be uh, uh, shared sure. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, and 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 published, of course. Yeah, yeah. The, the joy, the joy, in all of that is palpable, and I really, really <clears> think <throat> you guys are doing <laughs> extremely important work. I really sincerely believe that. May I also ask? I mean, you know, there are some um, contemporary uh, Spanish philosophers, uh, namely uh, Miguel uh, Angel Cast. Castro Merino. I I know yeah. I'm butchering his name. I'm sorry, no, but but I love I love good, Miguel, good. and he's been a guest on exploring antinatalism. I think his his work is incredible. Um, do, I mean, in your translation efforts, are there are there any efforts to sort of uh, you know do the reverse, like make his work available in English? Because I'll tell you, I I want to read those books so bad. And again, I know it's niche. You know, it's it, it, it's it, um everything you say is true about sort of the. Yeah, the difficulty of of getting you know people interested in 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 uh, pe pessimist works, uh, um, but yeah. that would be amazing you know just as a another way of going about uh, just yeah. distributing these works yeah yeah the reverse uh, I I don't know if if any of the of the members of the group uh, have uh, um, enough uh, level level of English to do a <laughs> translation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from uh, Spanish to to English, yeah. Maybe I, I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I know I know um, uh, several uh, attempts uh, of that with uh, Cabrera. Cabrera uh, has, uh, I I fairly say, it, maybe almost of his words of his works uh, translated so it, it can be <laughs> it can be but perhaps uh, there's someone uh, interested uh, in, 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 on the work in the work uh, of merino uh, that uh, could translate uh, the works yeah. yeah yeah merino is is quite uh, prolific so it would it would it would have uh, a lot of work to do. But... <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite a quite a quite a work to do. Yeah, he'd be yeah. difficult to keep up with for sure. <laughs> there's a, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. just a new one, just a new yes. uh, anti natalist yes. uh, work of just just recently. So so thank yes. you so much. Yeah, well, I'll just for now at least I'll just be keeping my fingers crossed that something like that also <laughs> happens uh, for us for us English speakers. Um, I wanted to ask you guys if you could tell me a little bit about the significance of the name, uh, Revistas Hernandez. Um, can can you tell me a little bit about what that means? I I know I know. You told me a little bit about what it is uh, on on uh, on X on Twitter, but uh, yeah. I'd love to know more about that story. Yeah. Well, um, I'm not the one to talk about it because um, the the only one who knows exactly the Jose. the thing uh, is Jose, the one who's missing today. Uh, but I think no, something has to do with with Latino's work, and um, it's no, uh, it's, Bunsen. Okay. Es el concepto que utiliza Bansen por contraposición al de mónadas para referir okay. a la partícula isolada, es un autoconsciente de sí que es supuestamente el hombre para Bansen. Sí, pero, pero no, es pero, no, es no pero, también era Plutín. Pero era de, era de Proclo. Eso, Proclo, Proclo. Es un neoplatónico uh, concepto uh, after the uh, the work uh, of uh, Proclus um and well yeah uh, um uh, much later the uh, 19th uh, century philosopher uh, Julius Bunsen um recovers uh, that concept to uh, speak uh, about the um the the individuated beings uh, that are uh, split uh, from the Schopenhauer Schopenhaueraian uh, will to live. 
So, well, in others, uh, uh, we we all are in, in, others. in others. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's something had to be related with the self-conscious uh, or being human or, so, or something like that. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Uh, the one who uh, who grabbed that is not here, so. That's okay. <laughs> no, I, I understand. No, thank you for that. And yeah. and, and can you tell, I, I, you know, minus the other member um, and, and the other members, I mean, can you tell me a little bit about just, you know, we've, we spoke a little bit about it already, but I mean, just the history of how this collective came to be i mean how did you all find each other you are here you are here from the beginning well so i'm here from the see. beginning yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn again well so um <laughs> so um we and uh jose and i we uh we were uh, students and, and at the um uh autonomous university of barcelona here uh, in barcelona so um we meet up there as students and we made a friendship there and uh, we continue different paths and um, different ways. I I went through a master's degree, doctorate, and uh, and continued. And uh, and he went you know, other other directions, more um, uh, not in the academy as myself, but he continued reading and doing research and. Um, because he's really passionate about it, right? Uh, so yeah. So um, but um, after 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 a long time, no 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 talking. Uh, he he contacted me uh, through, so I don't know. Uh, life life happens, and we uh, reconnected, and we started talking. And uh, he had an idea that he wanted to publish a uh, um, a, a magazine about pessimism. Because it was, it was. I remember, it was a. Um, uh, he was a, uh, a really. Um, he's, he was really into romanticism, uh, German idealism, and uh, of course pessimism. Okay, and um, and after that, we started starting to um, to make a group of uh, trying to s s spread that the message of we're going to make a group called group uh, Grupo Enadas. Uh, Revista Enas, and we're gonna deal with uh, pessimist thought, uh, German idealism, and uh, romanticism, the three things that he loves. And I said, uh, of course, I'm in. <laughs> um, uh, I would love to to join the 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 project. So um, after that, um, several people from from uh, from Madrid, from uh, Extremadura. From a, even Canada, uh, which is uh, Ignacio. Uh, uh, well, he's he's from Chile. I, th I think he's he's from Chile, but right now he's he's doing oh, a living, uh, living in, in Canada. But um, uh, yeah, when, when we we started making the first volume, uh, and and after that we just continue the role and uh, we're with publishing and and. And translations and collaborations from from translators that they want to write about what they translated already. Uh, um, interpretations of different uh, uh, books on 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 pessimist thought and um, and and uh, and um, authors that we didn't hear anything about them, but we discover because people are researching them. Um, and we we try to publish it in 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 our uh, magazine, and um, well, suddenly the the thing went on. Uh, we wanted to spread more stuff because we were do we were dealing with lots and lots of information and authors and 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 the joy of being doing that right. And uh, we we decided to. Uh, to step up and go from uh, from that uh, from the uh, magazine to these yeah, seminars, the, the seminars, the, the lectures group, and um, and uh, and they both joined the the group, and we continued uh, that direction till till now. We started with shop an hour, as I told you already, yeah. and uh, a year ago, a year ago, yeah, it wasn't <laughs> that far. Less. Yeah, 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 and um, and we went through all shopping hour and um, uh, well, not 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 all, but 
the main Chopin hour, I think. And uh, yeah, we right now deal with uh, contemporary pessimists, um, included Merino and uh, Cabrera, Benatar. And right now, we're going to finish the lectures on uh, Thomas Ligotti. Yeah. And we're trying to translate the videos or not? Translate the videos. Yeah. Maybe we can translate the videos so we can have more audience. Yeah. Uh, before yeah. be, before it was uh, easier to do uh, that <laughs> because um, YouTube um, has a way uh, to um, automatically uh, generate. No, um, digo? o sea, la gente en particular podía eh, subtitular los vídeos aunque no tuvieran nada del canal. Ah, okay. So uh, uh, we get uh, you, you can get, get uh, anonymous translations from people who are watching the the video. They can translate, but right now that is uh, uh, restricted to the, the owner of the video. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's more comp complicated. There's no um, there's not love getting crossed. <laughs> so it's all privatized for only the mm -hmm. owner. But. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the will to translate the stuff uh, is is there. Uh, the, the the first thing we're gonna we, we're gonna do is um, um, continue what we're doing, and if we can, we can we can try to to get to that way. Of oh, maybe 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 if uh, our channel uh, grows uh, grows a lot, uh, we can spend uh, or fund uh, the the translations. But right now, it's kind of uh, <laughs> unfeasible. Yeah, it, it's out of our hands right now. Mm. <laughs> it's too busy. That's <laughs> extremely exciting, though. I mean, I was definitely going to ask about you know translation of the videos later on on in this, and I'm I'm really really I'm just so excited uh, that you guys brought it up yeah. already because that would be amazing. And I do um, think like you know down the road, if if you guys wanted to do like a a Patreon or a GoFundMe or something like that. You're, there, I mean, mm. there's definitely people out there, um, yeah. especially a lot of the work that has to do with antinatalist works that you're doing. I mean, there, there's definitely a hunger for more works mm. in Spanish, and there's a there's a big Spanish speaking antinatalist mm. community mm. out there um, who, who I bet yeah. would jump on the opportunity. So that's yeah. very exciting. But yeah. I wanted I wanted to ask you guys a little bit about the focus or non-focus of of the antinatalism in, in what you're doing. I mean, it does, you know, obviously Benatar, uh, Cabrera, uh, Ligotti, I mean, these are all seminal antinatalist works, but they also are just in general works on, on pessimism. But yeah. to what extent would you say antinatalism is or isn't the focus of, of what you guys are doing? I mean, obviously I think, I think it's safe to say, you're starting to build an audience of antinatalists who mm -hmm. you know are are, are are excited about what you're doing. Um, but I totally appreciate that it's not the full extent of what you're doing and the full audience that you're aiming for. But um, uh, but regardless, I'm just curious about you know if you're if if you feel like the antinatalism is what's drawing you know primarily drawing the audience in or yeah just just what extent the fo that 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 has become the focus. Yes. Mm. Uh well uh i think that um well we we branded the the journal uh, as the as as an uh international uh, philosophical pessimistic oh, yeah. journal yeah. so our main focus is pessimism but uh a lot of uh contemporary uh, pessimistic works uh, deals uh, with the issue of uh, procreation. So it's it's kind of a, a, an, an inevitable, in, inevitable uh, thing. Uh, we have to uh, talk about antinatalism uh, way, one way or the other. <laughs> They're stuck uh, with it. We are we are interested we are interested in the topic, but uh, I think it's kind of a a, a common thread uh, or a common uh, trend uh, in uh, everyone uh, uh, 
or maybe you know, a niche of um, these authors. So that's that. <laughs> Yeah, it's no, kind it's of a tra trans a transversal uh, topic that is always is always there. It's always in the way. Hmm. Yeah, it's always there, and you guys have hit it at a moment where it sort of its time has come, and it's becoming this. You know, every year that goes by, there's more works hmm. about it. There's growing interest in it, and uh, hmm. so I I appreciate you sort of just you, you can't help but get caught up in that storm if you're dealing with 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 works <laughs> on pessimism. So yeah, that makes yeah. perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Um. So amazing. So I I now love to talk a little bit about um the journal or the magazine that you guys do. This is an aspect of your mm -hmm. work that I I know less about. You know than the um than the the lecture series. Um. Yeah. So really, I mean, you you've spoken a little bit about it already, but I just love to hear anything you guys have to say about the the magazine. How long has it been going? You know, and what kind of works are you you know asking people for? Can people submit? Um, and, and what, like, is it, are, is, are all of the works that are included in the magazine in Spanish or is there a collection of languages? Um, yeah, just anything you'd like to tell me, I'd, I'd love to hear. Um, I, I think it, it was, it was after the pandemic that we started, uh, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 some, somewhere like that. And, uh, well. The, the magazine, as I already told you, are uh, is is um, is um, uh, is focused on different topics we we're dealing right now. We, for example, we have a uh, call for papers uh, dealing with uh, contemporary pessimism. Uh, we are receiving uh, works on um, on or articles, oh. translations. Um, I don't know. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, reviews of books that are really short, uh, but the, it's uh, uh, to to um, to fish to fishing the attention. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but yeah, um, catch. to catch the attention. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, and um, uh, well, the, the... We, we are planning uh, also to uh, include um, poems. Uh, in future numbers, um, yeah. it's as uh, it deals with uh, topics uh, related to, uh, to pessimism uh, that will be uh, in past numbers, uh, suicide, um, uh, the the question of uh, romanticism, um, so. German it, I think. it can be it can be uh, very broad uh, in 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 the in the next number uh, cont uh, about uh, contemporary pessimism it can be uh, about uh, renowned uh, authors or unknown authors uh, hot topics or forgotten topics uh, so it's it's uh, it's kind of about uh, our uh, expectations uh, about the contributions of um, uh, for the number or for the, the numbers. Yeah. So uh, we are, we are accepting. I th I, th I don't think I'm making. I think I'm making this up, but I don't know. I think we are receiving already. Or we, we are uh, we are accepting also uh, English uh, uh, articles. Um, maybe Jose, uh, Jose uh, will know. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll also, would know. I will absolutely allow them and then translate it. Um, no, no, yeah, people also, people can submit uh, in English, French, Italian, German, and obviously Spanish. Spanish. That's yeah. amazing. Uh, but uh, for the moment, uh, all the all the, all the articles right. and translations are in Spanish, Spanish. but people yeah. um, people can send us whatever they're wa they're welcome yeah um, so if somebody was to submit something in English you yeah, guys absolutely. would translate it in in house into yeah. Spanish that's incredible that's yeah. really incredible yeah, yeah. And, that's, and that's yeah sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you please go ahead no no, no that's, that's okay no, in, in fact in fact uh I'm uh, currently uh, working on a translation 
uh, of uh, Cabrera's uh, two texts, two texts of Cabrera's. So, yes. Yeah. Mm. That that that's incredible. And so, how many issues have there been so far? And are these are these uh, are these magazines? Have they? Is it only online? Are there physical editions of them? Can people buy copies of them? I, I mean, I'd love to have them for my collection. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, I, I would say that uh, our journal is mostly online, uh, but uh, in the past, uh, we have uh, printed uh, some copies uh, to sell lo locally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is mostly an online, uh, an online, online journal. Yeah. And uh, well, uh, till now we we are in the fourth. third. In the third, well, the the next is uh, will be the fourth uh, issue. So yeah, one one per year. One per <laughs> right, year. it's annual. It's <laughs> annual. Okay, it's yeah, annual. that's that's yeah. exciting. And and so and so primarily up until now, it's mostly academic works, correct? And the, and but but now you're branching off into. Uh, poetry and, and and maybe other forms of artistic works well at the beginning when i was talking with with jose uh about the project and we're trying to 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 uh concrete the ideas or trying to um to express what we wanted to to do mostly him not not myself i, I i'm just like a ad hoc to the project you know, his his um his ideas but um um the <clears throat> the main thing that we wanted to do is writing um uh more freely freely than the um than the um the academic uh, articles are, are wrote right the, the peer reviewing the constantly uh uh returning <laughs> and correcting and returning and never publishing uh, anything or just paying to be published on all this kind of uh, bureaucracy in the academy so the magazine was thought to be something more para academic, right? Not that uh, just going again making something that it's gonna mm -hmm. be. We know it's gonna be um, really, um, really uh, uh, um, yeah. I I I I agree. Yeah. I agree about the. Para academic, para academic uh, nature of the journal. But I think that uh, she is uh, she is uh, right in pointing out that uh, mainly the 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 articles, uh, the translations that we uh, that you will find uh, uh, in our issues are uh, more academic leaning. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We're surrounding the academy, but we are not like, for example, we are not, we are not, we are here right now, but we are going outside. <laughs> yeah, we can go around the university. We we gravitate towards the the, the university, but we don't want to be here, like really into the the university because there is no. Um, we, we we cannot publish, for example, poetry or or the, the thing we're gonna do, or for example, um, I've been writing um for the for the magazine the last uh, for the last numbers, and uh, the way I write is not academic, uh, <laughs> it's not academic, but for for, for because um, yeah, it's stylistic. It's stylistically, I I I I I don't want to force myself to to that kind of uh dispositive. Because uh, I don't know, uh, it's, it's a decision I made. It's a but, decision well, I made. But and... worldwide, I mean, something that gives uh, works like that some kind of chance is so needed. And I mean, as I've learned myself, you mm. know, fairly recently, publishing is incredibly uh, prohibitively expensive. So yeah, the yeah. the fact that you're offering um, a chance for those works to be seen. Uh, and yeah. in, in a variety of forms, not just academic, but artistic, I think is really harnessing so much of the mm -hmm. creativity, you know, that exists um, in in pessimism, in 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 contemporary pessimism um, that maybe wouldn't get a chance in, yeah, you know, uh, traditional academic journals. I think that's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Are you, yeah. um, you know, obviously people are submitting online, but are you also getting a lot of submissions from, you know, local authors? Is that something that you're seeing a lot of? Mm -hmm. 
more like we <laughs> we go to uh, ah, we to with, them, with them. <laughs> <laughs> we go with them uh, we we like yeah we, there's a lot of networking and uh like looking everywhere uh searching for people who may be interested on that kind of topic or some other times uh maybe people contact us and ask for uh there's still a babel time for for sending you any article or stuff like hmm. and we meet each other and say oh i love your work uh that's amazing let's hmm. let's let's talk about it and, and get it published and uh but yeah i think it's it's more like um, trying to connect different dots that are spread around Spain and <laughs> trying to to make a um, a as I said a network. Yeah, you're making a net to um, uh, yeah uh, to uh, to add to, to the last question. Something is um, there's a the the the, um, the thing with the part academic thing is that there there's also a an 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 aesthetic also approximation to the writing or the way we write the stuff uh, or we 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 deal with concepts right uh, because um uh, uh we grab the best of the academic world and we're trying to not get uh um, stuck. stuck in that uh that way of doing things and try to get, again you know like more flexible getting a little bit of uh space to to get creative and think about the uh a a movement that it, it means because it, there's a there's a there's a a militant way uh a milit militant uh, um uh, significance on the on the journal also right because not, not only for the topic but also the way we're doing this this kind of things is is also to to give example that it's possible to create something that uh that can channel all this joy for these authors for this kind of topics for this kind of uh um uh readings yeah and um uh, yeah that's that's also one one of the things that uh we wanted to to spread when we said that it's para academic also yeah and um uh, yeah I could I could continue talking, but <laughs> I think that there's more questions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. Thank you. I I I mean, so what are your? I, I want to know what your future plans are for the magazine, other than than extending it to now accepting uh, poetry submissions. And I yeah. also just want to ask, like, what you know, what advice could you give to other people who maybe are like interested in start in starting, you know, more uh, para academic uh journals like in their own countries i mean i this you know it would be amazing to see more efforts like this you know all across the globe so what kind of yeah. advice could you give to people who maybe are interested in starting something like that um well i've tried <laughs> i have i have a history of uh of para academic journals <laughs> i i have a I had um, a, a magazine that was uh, attached to Revista Ena. That's also it was called a, that probably was called uh, Revista Exosui. And at that time, I was publishing uh, all the things that were were not um, um, we were, of topic. Out, out, topic. out of topic or from the main uh, issue on Revista Enadas. So I said, well, are you agree to publish this here? And we publish um, articles and, and stuff like that and, and reviews of books and, and, and things like that, right? But um, after that, I... Uh, I um, uh, the, a guy I met only once uh, contacted me, and and we we were really uh, we had affinity uh, between us, and uh, we decided to make a project together, which is called uh, uh, Metaxis. Okay, so um, after uh, 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 the, is is obviously a part academic uh, magazine uh, where we talk about some issues like. Uh, 
more broad, like uh, mm -hmm. not pessimistic stuff, but more like uh, dedicated to biopolitics, uh, talking to to war, for example, or love, or um, Mark Fisher, for example. We we did one dedicated to Mark Fisher. Uh, right now we are uh, we are talking about precarity and vulnerability. Also, uh, this is the main topic right now, and uh, the the advice I will give to to those who want to to uh, begin. to begin on this uh, this this kind of journey that is uh, making a <laughs> making a um, uh, a magazine or journal or or anything like that like a podcast or um, uh, starting lectures and, and stuff like that is that um, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's it's the it's the basic thing the the fear of not uh of of of, of having the idea or having the if if you if you have joy doing that stuff and you you want to find people like you you that you uh, do it they, with friends they love yeah do it, with do it with friends and um and and probably it's going to be someone there who loves what you're doing and uh, they want to share it and they want to uh, increase that potentiality uh, of the things that you're doing and believe on the project and um, maybe someday it's going to end but uh but right now <laughs> we have yeah, yeah we have uh, we have these these uh emotion we have this uh this um engine that is constantly trying to seek um um uh, uh ways to uh, I'm sorry uh, to seek um authors uh people who have read this or translations or whatever uh or stuff like that and um yeah, just, just I think that this is this is the uh, I had a little bit of uh, vertigo when I was when when he asked me to to do that journal because it was like, well, man, that's there's gonna be a lot of a lot of work to do, but um, but the 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 next step is just start doing it and then you you will get enrolled right uh, and then just it's like a, um, you get used to it. You get used to it. You get you get used used to it, and also you get um, the the reward of of taking that out of yourself instead of uh, keeping it or having a conservative uh, um, um, way of thought, right? Like um, um, why to keep it when you can just <laughs> let it let it out? <laughs> so yeah, that's I don't know. That's the main main advice and mm -hmm. the only one I can, I can give right now. No, no, that was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Well, first of all, I just want to say quickly, I'm really excited to hear that you've done some work on Mark Fisher. I'm fascinated by Mark Fisher. Uh, and incidentally, yeah. he almost coined the term antinatalism before really? Benatar and Theo. He in some of his blog posts, which were actually edited out of the collected works by the yeah, people that compiled yeah. it. Uh, we they're we like, know. Yeah, they're, 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 I think they were the only two posts by him that they actually edited it out of the collective works they're like well we don't we don't like that he believed this kind of thing it, it, it's, he, it's, it's a curious ahead. it's a curious uh author uh, Mark yeah Fisher. yeah you can you could uh you could say it, it's clearly a pessimistic uh author yeah the constant uh, mentions of uh, uh schopenhauer a uh, kind of his take on um on depression, uh, ghost of my life, yeah, it's just uh, and and the, the recurrence of that uh, state of depressive uh, state that he was almost uh, his entire life till 2017. 20, 20, uh, I mean, he he, he mm, ended up in his life, his life yeah. but um, but yeah, it's 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 quite fascinating. I'm even I interviewed uh, Matt Kolkohon, who uh, who was a uh, the editor well no the editor of the last um last course he gave on um on oh, wow. um uh capitalist post desire no, capitalist uh, post desire uh, desire see post capitalist desire post desire was what to say oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah amazing 
Amazing. Yeah. But I also just wanted to say, I think, you know, uh, I laughed when you said, just do it. But that really is the best advice anybody <laughs> working on a project like this could possibly give somebody else. What the hell is stopping you? Just do it. I mean, I never would have imagined. I mean, this will be the 83rd episode of the Exploring Antinatalism <laughs> podcast. Like, yeah. you know, and, and, and the play, the you know, the just everything that's happened over the course of these five years of doing the show, I never could have imagined. I'm sure that when you when you guys started all this, you never could have imagined all the places that it, all the works that you translated, the you know. And um, yeah, so I really, that is the best advice that somebody could possibly give somebody interested in doing something like this. It's just make it happen, you know, see where it takes <laughs> yeah, you. So yeah. I very much approve. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so let's, let's move, you know, I, obviously I, there's so much, I guess we could still talk about, about the, the magazine and the, the journal. I, I think it's an incredible project, um, mm. but I'd love to go on and speak about the lecture series now. Obviously we've, we've talked a little bit about it already. Um, you it really, it's, you covered so many, it's an impressive number of, uh, pessimist books on pessimism, but, but really a lot of the core essential seminal academic antinatalist works, um, mm -hmm. Cabrera, Benatar, Ligotti, um, and again, I just, I really am keeping my fingers crossed those videos get translated someday. Cause I, 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 so <laughs> wish, I so wish I could engage, you know, in, 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 in what you're saying about those works. Um, yeah. but just sort of the generalized question. So they're, they're filmed at the university and do you often have an audience for these lectures? Do people submit questions? I mean, what is, what is that dynamic like? Yeah. Usually, yeah, usually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, usually <laughs> we are all alone here. But uh, <laughs> some days uh, people uh, appear here uh, yeah. unabated, unnoticed. Unnoticed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes we have uh, we have uh, um, people attending, but uh, yeah. in general. You don't know because it's it's, it's not only the um, the the topic I think or or us. My topic the day is is it's it, a Friday. It's, it's a Friday. Uh, There's no afternoon. one around here. Uh, afternoon. Uh, people are taking beers outside. They don't want to talk about pessimistic stuff. All uh, right, that kind of stuff. Hmm. So uh, yeah, but um, we may not fine. not have anyone here, or sometimes we have some people around here, but. Um, uh, we do it also online. We we make uh, transmissions online via ah, yeah. Twitch. So mm -hmm. there's uh, there's some people over there who uh, ask uh, through via the chat or um, and ask questions through there, and we try to answer after the the presentation where we debate all the ideas that are compounded uh, on the the on the lecture. But um, yeah, and and I'm mostly. We contact with people through through Twitter or other or platforms or even YouTube. Uh, uh, we have uh, yeah yeah we, we 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 have a uh, uh, a really engaged uh, audience. Yeah, little audience, <laughs> uh, uh, but passionate, uh, but passionate, passionate. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah I'm yeah. happy to hear that. I mean, I, I that was kind of my next question. Is I mean, what is your impression and your opinion of sort of the online philosophy communities that that you've encountered you know what are the, the quality of it just mm. the the kind of engagement what, what, what are your thoughts on all of that well i, I think uh, we are kind of um because of the of the topics uh we uh we approach uh i think and we are um kind of um isolated I mean, uh, if you uh, if you see uh, what uh, what are doing um, the you could say the the great uh, or the top um, Spanish uh, philosophers, uh, it has nothing to do with uh, it has nothing to do with the with the topics that we are uh, uh, dealing with. Dealing with nothing uh and in that regard uh i don't i don't know i, I don't know what uh, um i don't i don't know what to take about it um we are doing kind of our own thing i guess yeah. hmm. it generates 
effects via via different platforms and people are getting feedback about it and we try to answer it mostly but um uh, whenever we can but uh mostly is is the same the same thing I, I told you before is just uh, a way to channel this joy mostly yeah mostly is that that thing um and uh uh the, the same thing also i said before it's just we we thought we thought about something that we wanted to do and just we went went on it and channeled that and um the the yeah but um 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 Claro, to, uh, the... the... to be in 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 you know, in youtubers like no sé, Aime or or yeah or yeah. I don't know maybe in Quetzal or yeah in Tinaco or yeah it yeah it, it doesn't in well the 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 main goal is not to to uh to gather gather subscribers or or stuff like that right um. It's more like um, um, we're doing with we what we like. We're doing what we like, and uh, if there's tons of people that we, we're going to to love it, and they want to share the ideas, and they want to uh, get to a feedback loop, right? Uh, uh, we can. Uh, we love that. We will love that. But uh, mostly, it's um, just following our desire to 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 produce this this kind of uh, content uh, or, or things we do. And um, and I don't know. Maybe one day the desire is not gonna be longer there, and we we're gonna do another stuff. Maybe I don't know, playing with a hammer or <laughs> going on boats or I don't know. But um, but yeah. Uh, um, uh, yeah, we're not that into the online community or making uh, uh, threats in, for example, Reddit or forums or stuff like that. And we just drop there a topic and we continue there. It's more like, um, I think it's a um, uh, uh, secondary effect more than... Uh, more than um, yeah, or mingle, or mingle. Or mingle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, I think, like we've said multiple times, I mean, I think what you guys are doing, and maybe what I'm doing too, is we're filling a niche that other, mm. um, th that there's no other place for. I mean, it's kind of this. I mean, what you're describing with the, you know, the, um, Spanish YouTubers who do who do philosophy videos, they're not covering yeah. these topics. I mean, with some exception, it's the same in English too. I mean, most. Yeah, of yeah, it's, it's it's the same. Well, yeah. well, well. Uh, you have the uh, antinatalist uh, YouTubers and uh, the people that that are not antinatalists that engage with them are like mm, <laughs> very violent. <laughs> very uh -huh. violent. Bring it so, on, bring it on. I don't know. I don't know if if we want uh, that for uh, for uh, ourselves. <laughs> no, well, I can I can hope that those types stay away from yeah. what you're doing for sure. Because because yes, mm. you're hundred percent correct. Um, yeah. But but uh, but no, it, it's not the the the. Uh, lo que quería decir es que claro uh, we, uh, what I want to to say with that uh, is that um, it's not the top um, the philosophy tubers that uh, in, engage with that co uh, topics um, kind of um, exactly. fairly it's the the people that uh gets um angry with you <laughs> and well uh, it's uh, i don't know I, I i suppose that uh in terms of uh google and uh, of uh, youtube engagement uh numbers metrics and so on uh it's it's good uh for the uh, for the antinatalist uh, youtubers get that kind of attention but uh, well I, I think we are happy to to remain 
more or less uh, unnoticed. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. Well, no, look, I think, I think, look, I think pessimism, antinatalism, especially, it does make people angry. I mean, it does elicit very, very strong feelings in people. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys would agree, but I think that the majority of people want philosophy to make them happy, right? It, they, it, yeah. Like, people want to hear happy they want to hear life is good <laughs> and they want to hear that it all means something positive and so you know us grumps come along and have a completely different um interpretation of what life is and um that that is going to elicit a very different response and so it makes sense you know that those channels with uh, philosophy channels with with larger audiences stay away from this kind of stuff but clearly interest in these subjects is growing worldwide in, in pessimistic subjects in antinatalism. So again, I think, I think your efforts um, and hopefully my own are filling that need uh, you know, yeah. somewhere along the line. So because, um, yeah. because as I've said before, you clearly have an audience that is deeply engaged with what you're doing and that's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's, well, we, we, what we're dealing here is philosophy after we assume the castration complex. <laughs> yeah. So um, after that, because before that you have all the, well, all the kind of uh, happy, positive stuff. Are uh, we going to do like, well, I, I have the knowledge. So with this knowledge, I'm going to, no, maybe knowledge is, is, is limited and is uh, totally unproductive and maybe is, hurting you more than uh, letting you speak up or or interpret the world or map the world in some kind of uh, uh, sense that is uh, more grounded or more uh, in contact with uh, with the guts or with uh, your um, unspeakable humanity that uh, is uh, a common uh, common thing right so uh, yeah I think it's um, uh, as philosophy after the castration complex, I think that we do we, we hear, and uh, maybe uh, that that thing is the um, the 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 uh, a um, uh, how do you put it? I a um... puedes 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 pedir ayuda. See, it's uh, more like a uh, you have an X-ray of or how the uh, society is right now uh, uh, searching for or what kind of knowledge they're searching for. Uh, you have uh, that uh, radiography of, of the of the of the state of situation of how. Uh, which are the, where is the hunger you talked before, right? Where is the hunger for that thing? And uh, we're happy to see there's uh, there's an increase uh, in numbers of uh, people who are uh, liking our job or what we are doing here because uh, we are trying to um, build stuff from that place. We have, we have the all place of, of enunciation for putting that of those terms are is totally different from from the usual one or the more divulgatory uh thing right it's more it's more engaged with uh with uh with uh with philosophy that's why uh for example when we were reading schopenhauer uh we were talking about um uh different authors for example mitch's theta or we're talking about uh Mindlander or Bansen or uh, contemporary authors. Sometimes I put their Lacan. I don't know. There's a, there's a bridge, but I put it. So it's just to think about that that kind of stuff, right? And um, I probably be wrong, but um, but uh, but uh, that's not the point. The point is to to engage with uh, with those kind of things, right? And uh, to think from from somewhere else. Uh, from, from from another places, um, but yeah, that that's that's the liberty that we have um, with uh, with that uh, trope of uh, para academic um, uh, motive that is behind the the magazine and um, mm -hmm. and lectures. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah but uh, I think I think it's true that uh, usually uh, people. Uh, 
seek uh, some kind of uh, discourses or uh, philosophies that uh, help uh, help them uh, to be happy uh, and uh, and it's it's true that uh, there's kind of a rejection natural rejection to uh, um, philosophies that go the other way you know right. uh, it, it's true on the contrary that uh, are uh, people that seek uh, philosophies uh, that um, kind of um, um justif justify or uh, ground um his sadness so we we, we are not uh aiming to i'm not aiming to them either uh, it's not uh, for us pessimism is not a thing uh, uh to make us sad or uh, the people uh, who are uh, so um, yeah that's a little, <laughs> that's a little observation um, yeah I, I, no absolutely well that's that i think that's all too often unfortunately what people get stuck in is whether it's going to make them happy or sad and and it's yeah. not about that you know i mean it's, it's it, yeah. the, the the investigation into these ideas is much more meaningful than whether it makes us laugh or cry. But I just want to say that um, because pessimistic works face those kinds of challenges, the fact that you guys bring your your joy to that, you know, and that that is so um, that is so readily expressed uh, in what you're doing really helps, you know, because it, it you know I, I think all too often pessimists hide you know beneath the shadows kind of thing and so yeah. it's just it just it helps to be visible for people that you know we can people can engage in these subjects and they can have lives and they can have friends and they can have careers and it doesn't destroy them you know necessarily and yeah. that's you know i mean it's maybe a small thing but it's not it, it's 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 a big part i think um it, it's 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 the importance of that i think is very under estimated as far as um the usefulness in getting these kinds of ideas out there into the world it, it does Absolutely. help the way we show ourselves so yeah thank yeah. you so much guys um yeah. i just was curious i mean obviously <clears throat> you've worked a bit more closely with um miguel angel uh, marino you got i think he's been a part of the lecture series so i'm curious to know more about that what it was like working with him and also what you think about him in terms of, uh, you know, his place in contemporary pessimistic philosophy. Um, but also, I mean, I just am curious if you've interacted on a personal level with some of these other authors, Benatar, Cabrera, Ligotti. Um, you know, has there been any efforts to have uh, Cabrera, you know, be a part of these lectures in any kind of way? That would be incredible hmm. to see. Yeah. Hmm. Um with uh, with Benatar and and Ligotti, uh, well, uh, we we didn't try we didn't really. Try. We didn't try really. <laughs> we didn't try. Uh, but with uh, with Cabrera, uh, let's say that we have uh, an exchange uh, of see, yeah, yeah. an uh, extended exchange of uh, emails and. Uh, he, uh, I'm, I'm uh, working with uh, with him on the translation uh, of uh, two of uh, of his texts. Uh, so we, we have a, a good relationship with uh, with uh, Cabrera uh, and with uh, Merino. Well, uh, 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 of the of the of the people that we um, contacted. Uh, uh, he was the, the the more approachable uh, yeah. uh it's uh it's an it's a nice uh, it's a nice guy yeah <laughs> really really humble yeah he was really he is. 
yeah. uh, up to the up to the to to make an interview even uh, and talk about his books about his work mm -hmm. uh, what it was his takes about uh pessimistic philosophy we have a video of it in our channels also mm -hmm. and uh after we made an interview we we went to um to one of his books uh called el maldito regalo nacer the yeah uh, the uh, the, bad the bad press <laughs> The bad, no, the bad press. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Maldito, <laughs> con, con, como dirías maldito. Ah, the cursed press of, of being born. The cursed press of being born, yeah. And, uh, well, uh, it depends, uh, it depends uh, the kind of, uh, re of reader you are. Uh, for us, uh, it's more uh, of a book uh, that you uh, will read uh, when you are um convince of the of of the arguments it's not um it's not a book uh, rigorously uh analytic so uh, it's more uh an i don't know uh theo theoranesque uh, approach to uh, antinatalism mm -hmm. so if you are into that, uh, fine. <laughs> but if you uh, are uh, searching for um, arguments more developed, uh, it's more if you are introducing yourself to the topic or you are more advanced to the topic. If you are more advanced to the topic, perhaps it's not uh, quite a... a, a a good uh, book, but um, You're starting from a first, first, second book on antinatalism, it's fine. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah, that's the sense that I got. Actually, I mean, obviously, I haven't read it, but that is the sense that I got. But I also love that he's, you know, he's written a novel that has an antinatalist theme. Yeah. That, from what I understand, is it's, like it's quite, it's quite prolific. It's, it's, it's quite writing prolific. and writing and writing and writing and writing. Yeah, and I, I, I love that. I love I love seeing that because there's so you know there's so few people that are you know so yeah. so prolific on this subject. So that's that's yeah. wonderful. Are are there other authors that you maybe plan on having on as as guests, um, and interacting, uh, you know, a little bit more um directly in in, in these lectures? Uh, I uh, I think that uh, we can uh, we can. Uh, Bring uh, here uh, Miguel Steiner, uh, perhaps, but uh, I don't know. Um, I would love to see the, that the other the other scholars uh, here in Spain that um, are well were uh, dealing with the with the talk topics of uh, pessimism are uh, are quite high profile to us i mean we cannot reach them <laughs> <laughs> nowadays they are at the, least they are on the top of the ivory tower so right it's pretty pretty unreachable mm. <laughs> but miguel steiner I, would be phenomenal because i mm. mean there's so um i mean i have i've worked with miguel uh, quite a bit and he's been a guest on the yeah. show um and and I worked on getting an English translation uh, done of 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 his most recent uh, El Antinatalista, his most recent uh, novel. But his mm -hmm. first book, I have it, but I know almost nothing about it. It's got a very long title, so I won't even I won't even try. Um, <laughs> but he would be I he would be know. a great one. Um, so I hope I hope to definitely see that happen. That would be that would be incredible. Yeah. So I mean, uh, besides guests and stuff, I mean, what you know, I know I know there was some talk about perhaps moving away from some of the more antinatalist works uh mm. now and and so what what future subjects you know do you think you're you guys are going to move into next we we we, we didn't uh, we didn't plan the uh, so far ahead i i think uh <laughs> we we don't know we don't know we uh what the uh, topic or what uh yeah we 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 uh we will be doing uh next year with the with the seminar, uh, I assume I assume uh, that um, doing 
contemporary pessimism is it's a, a broad uh, label to um, select uh, a variety of works uh, not uh, not really constrained by uh, I don't know um, if the, if they are uh, materialist um, materialist or realist or idealist or yeah what yeah. not uh, perhaps uh, we continue with uh, with that label uh, but um, bring in uh, authors uh, with a more uh, literary uh, approach, uh, like Ligotti. Uh. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I love that. I, I love that you guys branched into Ligotti because, because again, you know, from what I've seen previously, you know, Benatar, Cabrera, obviously, you know, very top tier philosophers who've made incredible contributions. And mm -hmm. Ligotti's also made an incredible contribution, but it 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 also has a bit of that maybe para academic quality to it. It's not a piece yeah. of academia, but I mean it's yeah. it's an incredible piece of work. I mean, can you tell me anything about that discussion? Like what was what what happened during that discussion or what what kind of uh just anything with, you can tell me about it really. With uh with Ligotti, yeah. uh, you mean? Um well, um, when when I was uh, making the the list of uh, works that will be um, reading this year, um, I I have the, like two limitations. Uh, one uh, is more or less the topic, and the other. Uh, is that uh, it uh, had uh, an Spanish translation. And um, believe, believe it or not, uh, there's not a lot of works uh, on um, contemporary uh, pessimism or uh, antinatalism uh, translated uh, to, uh, to Spanish. Um, uh, then, uh, well, that's uh, what uh, motivated my uh, uh, my choice uh, in that moment. Uh, I have a kind of an idea of of the work, but um, uh, un poco mi 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 um my intention uh, was that uh, we uh, discovered the works as we read them. So uh, I, I had uh, any uh, pre prejudices uh, yeah. about the uh, form uh, or the way uh, of the right of uh, of the writing. So um, yeah, that. And around Ligotti, uh, I don't know, um, kind of the 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 um, the thesis are are not um, uh, how to put it uh, are not original uh, in the sense that uh, uh, are thesis that are uh, from another authors, but is a. Uh, uh, um, it's a, a book sur surprisingly um, erudito, erudite. No. Uh, well, he he has a lot of knowledge. He, uh, he had notable, the... notable, notable. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, quite no notable of the tradition uh, uh, of the pessimistic tradition, with a reference to Zafe, Vansen, uh, Nietzsche even nobody knows Nietzsche for example, mm -hmm. Nietzsche and uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, the I I I uh, guess I guess uh, that the the um, the best thing that we uh, take uh, of the of, of this book uh, was. Um, 
kind of the aesthetics approach to pessimism or antinatalism or extinctionism uh is more uh, is more like uh, an aesthetics SI, SI than uh, um, I don't know an ethics uh, uh, SI it's it's more uh, uh, what you what you expect on these topics yeah yeah well the thing is that the um the um, some of the, the ideas that we were uh, tracing while we were reading the book was that the narrative or the literature or the um, <clears throat> the fiction that he was presenting there, because always is is trying to ground it, right? Grabbing those those authors, right? There's something uh, in a uh, kind of a uh, the conspiracy atmosphere that is always surrounding the the readings right there's always trying to get you to that point right where where maybe is uh maybe it's a conspiracy against the human race because there's someone who has been implanted the uh parasite of the ego uh we are we are producing that kind of uh thoughts because we are uh feeding some creature anything right mm -hmm. but um it's um it's uh i think it's a is a is a really really good book because there is um there's a thing that which i like a lot is a uh, um uh, how to uh, put in motion those concepts that we find in philosophy and try to make them a uh, narrative, uh, which is uh, which enables a kind of uh, enables the <laughs> affection that we receive from concept, for example, of uh, will uh, from Schopenhauer or uh, any philosophers or psychologists, right? Uh, he tries to extract all the, the, the aesthetics of all of the concepts and, uh, um, and make a narrative of it, and mm -hmm. uh, which is a really, really good uh, and creative work that uh, it's, it's really... Um, uh, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, thank you, thank you guys so much for your thoughts on that. I was really curious, you know, because it, it is a very different work from the rest of the mm -hmm. ones that you've covered. So I really appreciate hearing your thoughts on that. So yeah, so listen, I just I can't wait to see all the ways that the lecture series is going to develop, and the journal, and all of the translations. I, I I just really sincerely think that the work you guys are doing is extremely important. It's a real service to um the history of of of, of pessimistic philosophy um so i've you know I, I can only say thank you and what i would really like to know is how best your audience people listening to this uh to this interview can you know best support what you guys are doing how can how can we help <laughs> now nowadays uh i suppose that uh well uh, reading the issues uh <laughs> And uh, viewing, uh, and viewing the, the 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 seminar on 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 YouTube. Uh, yeah. yeah. For for uh for for the moment. Yeah, or participating on the call for papers we do every year. Yeah. On uh, the on the magazine. Making or... a contribution to yeah. Yeah, to and and also we are open to to hear uh proposals from anyone who wants to like you for example you talked uh with us to make this this podcast and to get to know each other and uh, and share and what we're, yeah, yeah, what yeah, we're yeah. doing yeah. Okay. And um, and uh, yeah, we're open to 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 talk about these kind of topics. Um, uh, we we can speak in uh, in English and Spanish and maybe Catalan as well. But um, I think um, uh, we can try in French. But I don't, I don't give it much a try there. <laughs> we we stay in English. It's it's a pretty good stance, yeah, to stay. But um um yeah, there's there's uh, anything. If, uh, I'm going back to the same thing I said before. As uh, if you have any idea or if you have any 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 desire to 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 put out something and you want to find support, well, we have. You have here a really a band of pessimists who are willingly to help you 
uh, on your on your ideas, on your desires to 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 get something done, and um, and yeah, and take that out of it, yeah, and give it and give life to that thing. <laughs> <laughs> interesting choice of words for an antinatalism podcast give it like <laughs> I, <know, right>? yeah. <laughs> I was That's thinking perfect. about that i was thinking about that where I, i'm i'm here at the <laughs> no i love yeah. it i know well listen i can well, only hope that people will take you up on those incredibly generous and fine offers um i i, I definitely will try to submit something myself and i've I maybe 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 have an idea for of a proposal which I'll get back to you guys about another time. But um, it has been exceptionally fascinating uh, and wonderful to speak with you gentlemen today. Thank you so much for being my guests on the Exploring Antinatalism podcast. Once again, I think the work you guys are doing is incredibly important. So uh, cannot wait to see the ways that you carry on and continue. So once again, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thanks to you. Uh, thank you, Amanda. It was a pleasure. Hey everybody, it's Amanda. Are you looking for an excellent way of making academic antinatalist works more available across the globe? I know I am. And so I'm delighted to announce that the wonderful and award-winning Polish publishing house Towarzystwo Naukowe imienia Stanisława Andreskiego, which over the last two years has produced some exceptionally beautiful Polish editions of both original works like Antinatalizm by Mikołaj Starzyński as well as classic academic antinatalist works like David Benatar's Better Never To Have Been, has now opened an online shop featuring the magnificent antinatalist Ouroboros designed by Michał Dziadkowiec. The logo is fully customizable and available on a wide variety of products. Proceeds from all sales at the shop go directly towards the translation, production, and publication of more Polish editions by Towarzystwo Naukowe imienia Stanisława Andreskiego. What a perfect way for the antinatalist community to help assist an amazing company doing such important work making more antinatalist academic works more widely available. Link below! Towarzystwo Naukowe imienia Stanisława Andreskiego. And just a quick reminder that the new book, Antinatalism, Extinction, and the End of Procreative Self-Corruption, by Mati Hairi and Amanda Suknik in the Cambridge University Press Element series, is out now and free to read on the Cambridge website. Physical copies can now be pre-ordered from the Cambridge website, Amazon.com, and other platforms, and are expected to be officially released on March 14th. If you enjoy the book or have any thoughts about it, please do let us know by leaving a comment, writing to us, or making a video. Thanks very much to everybody that's already checked out the book. More news soon. Thank you for listening to the Exploring Antinatalism podcast. Please follow the podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Exploring Antinatalism can also be heard on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Amazon.com, and so many other platforms. You can email me at exploringantinatalism at gmail.com. Website designed by Visions Noirs. Please follow him at www.bionoir.com and follow him on Instagram. Logo art by Life Sucks. Please subscribe to him on YouTube and check out his shop on Etsy at www.etsy.com slash shop slash Life Sucks Publishing. Music by Mati Hairi. You can hear the whole song, Life is a Sexually Transmitted Disease with a Mortality Rate of 100% by following the link in the description. And make sure to also read his academic paper, which inspired the song, If You Must Give Them a Gift, Then Give Them the Gift of Non-Existence, in the Cambridge Quarterly of Healthcare Ethics on cambridge.org. Links below. All the best, and bye for now. Life is no thrill It's worse than meal So draw the right conclusion Let there be still